the Shadows is a mockumentary comedy horror film and is from the director of Boy and Hunt for the Wilder People. The film is about a group of vampires who live in New Zealand together as flatmates and after a 20-something hipster turns into a vampire, these group of vampires take it upon themselves to teach this recently turned vampire the ropes of being a vampire and for the recently turned vampire to help teach these group of vampires about the modern world. After I saw Hunt for the Wilder People, I immediately wanted to check out every film that the director of that film did. When I saw Boy and I did my review on it, I wasn't a big fan of it. Like, it was a good film, but I overall didn't think it was great. It was okay, but it could have been better. So going into what we do in the shadows, I was expecting the same outcome. To my surprise, in my opinion, what we do in the shadows is equally as good and funny as Hunt for the Wilder People. This film is perfectly written, has great characters who are compelling and have interesting stories, and it was a pretty good story. And I have to applaud the filmmakers for having this film set in New Zealand, because for most vampire films, we've mostly seen them live in either Transylvania or in America thanks to Twilight. Here the filmmakers have done something different with vampires. Vampires living together as flatmates in New Zealand. Immediately, this works on a comedic level and add in the quirky humour that was in Hunt for the Wilder People, this film is the funniest film I've seen in probably the last few years. Like, this film and Hunt for the Wilder People are the most funniest films I have ever seen in a long time. No other film has made me laugh as hard as these two films. These two are absolutely perfect. I would nearly call them masterpieces. I do think these two are underrated, because like I said in my review of Hunt for the Wilder People, these films aren't made by American studios and it's probably not going to get a bigger audience. But to me, I don't care. If you go past all the American comedies that are out on the moment and you just go to, and you go to other countries to find different comedy films, if you go to New Zealand, you're bound to find these two films. And these two films deserve to be named the funniest films of this decade. Because no other films this decade has made me laugh as hard as What We Do in the Shadows and Hunt for the Wilder People. And with What We Do in the Shadows, I would say it's not as funny as Hunt for the Wilder People. Like, it's still funny, but like, for me, this film takes its time with the jokes. Like, it doesn't force feed the jokes down your throat like the recent film I reviewed, Sausage Party, where it was just joke after joke after joke, and I felt like I was being suffocated by those jokes. Here, the jokes are smooth, clever, and aren't forced down your throat. And I also like how this film makes fun of well-known vampire facts and just makes them comedic gold. And these characters are fantastic. Like Hunt for the Wilder People, they are memorable, compelling, and they do have some tragedy to them. Like there's this one character arc for one of the vampires where basically in the early 20th century he fell in love with a woman in another country. So when she moved here, he decided to follow her. However, it took him 18 months to get to New Zealand, and he later found out that she had moved on and found love with someone else and started a family. And now she's 96, and he's nearly 400 years old. And basically, there's points in the film where he's basically just like following her around, he's just looking, looking at her through windows. And I definitely like these story arcs, as it gives weight to the characters and gives them a more fleshed out backstory for you to connect with. And basically say, I like these characters, I like this story, and I would absolutely, hands down, recommend this film. And this film is not for everyone. I know some people who liked Hunt for the Wilder People but didn't like this film. The only way I can see people liking this film is if you have knowledge of vampires. Basically, if you don't know anything about vampires or how they work, you're not going to have a good time with here because this film doesn't hold your hand, as it expects you to know everything about vampires. If you don't know anything about vampires, this can be a bit of a struggle to get into. If you know vampires well enough, this will be a very enjoyable experience, and it's also funny as hell. Overall, with this film and Hunt for the Wilder People, I would have no problem putting the director of those films on my top 10 favourite directors of all time. This director has become one of the top filmmakers out there. So overall, absolutely recommend it. This is a perfect movie. It's funny, well shot, has compelling characters that are both interesting and funny. I would say What We Do in the Shadows is equally as good as Hunt for the Wilder People, and I have absolutely no problem giving What We Do in the Shadows a 10 out of 10. As always, thank you so much for watching. This weekend, I will be checking out the new Ron Howard documentary about the Beatles. And sometime next week, I will be doing an announcement video of an upcoming TV series I will be reviewing, so, so be sure to keep a lookout for that. As always, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to my channel below. 
As always, I'm the next five. Thank you for watching.